Viewers, welcome back to the channel. Now, your government is boasting about how he had improved the quality of lives of people. Now, I am wondering if this government is living in another Jamaica or is just far from reality. Now, my viewers, I'm going to point out a few things to you that to show you this government does not care about the average and well-thinking Jamaican people. Listen to this clip, then I will come back and have a reasoning. Listen, my viewers. And what we hear, Madam Speaker, is who didn't get and who didn't get enough. But you know what didn't come out? How many people are now using their retroactive? You see, I didn't take any retroactive, so I don't even know what it looked like. Buying cars, paying down on houses, adding on to their house, increasing their savings. One teacher told me that she now can hire, Madam Speaker, she now can hire a little helper to take care of her child and mother, give her mother a break. These are some of the changes and improvement in the quality of life of the people. Because the government has run the country so well that it can give you a salary increase without worrying that next year you're going to get wage freeze. And that is why, Madam Speaker, it burned me when I hear the nonsense that people talking. No other government has done that. And I stand in this parliament, Madam Speaker, and say... That all the lies and misinformation that is being spewed by the political entrepreneurs that this government is not going to sit back. You hear what the member said over there? He said, oh, this sounds like 2015. Madam Speaker, let it be well known that this Prime Minister has the ability, anytime I feel to turn it on, to get back in the public domain and let the people know that we will not be missing. Information. We were busy working, working, working. Spreading lies and sending false information. Mr. Prime Minister, where is the lie and the misinformation? No, 200% pay raised, and there is still no burnt unit in the country. 200% pay raised. And the hospitals are still lacking necessary equipment. You don't love poor people. You don't love the average Jamaicans. I am greatly disappointed. And so many other well-thinking Jamaicans are disappointed in that 200% increase. As at June 1st, 2023, the minimum wage is $13,000 per week, which simply means that the lower class, the poor, the impoverished, the common man still can't afford basic necessities. The $72,000 per month is not enough as the cost of food continuously rises. Expenses for children, transportation, recreation, etc. Your decision is so tough with your reality and for you to try and justify your decision. However, the nation, we as a nation, need to move past this whole gift tanks because at least this or that. The Jamaican people are getting nothing and they are suffering while the politicians and you lined your pockets with taxpayers' money and muses' resources 
most of the nation pay taxes and look at all the poor public infrastructure from the roads to the basic school to the social service and don't get me started on the health services why boast about what you doing what about what you are not doing so basically the people is to pat your back and said well done you're doing a great job ha 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 what you are doing and this is what most well-thinking jamaicans will say and this is what they are saying you are defending that massive pay hike for you and your politician friends shame on you shame on you but you are going to pay a grave political price for it you do not consider yourself public servants but above every public sector worker should get the same percentage rate but no you gave yourself and your politicians friends 200 percent increase it is a shame i am sorry to think that you have the peoples of jamaica interest no 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 you don't no mr prime minister holiness there are a lot of peoples in jamaica who are suffering under your government how have you improved the life of the Jamaican people who are crying every day? Stop blaming others. It's like a business and your employees aren't progressing and you blame your competitors. Unless you are making reference to the rich and upper class. Because everywhere people turn, people are crying. What you need to do is focus on helping the poor people who voted with confidence that you will help them in your humble beginnings and listen to their cry and pain what is it to gain riches and God is unhappy with your actions just face it The people need change and it's the right thing to do. All you need to do is just to let go off of your dictatorship power and always trying to manipulate the people and use government bodies. Every time the Jamaican people disagree, you see his egotistical behavior pop up basically saying, to the Jamaican people, they are idiots and it's either his way or no way. Please to remember, is the people of Jamaica tax money are paying you and it's the people who put you in power. Your disrespect and your lack of empathy for the people will no longer be tolerated. Have some decorum and respect the people's opinions. Where is the passion? Imagine 200% pay raise and yet still you claim you can't find it to give correctional officers more than 17% increase over a 3 year period of a salary that's not even substantial by today's inflation. That's rubbish. Now the people are supposed to be an important department under the depth of security. Correctional officers deserves better for the stress of dealing with prisoners and rubbish every day. This not improving anyone's life, only adding to the pressure of leaving Jamaica. The people need better from you, Mr. Prime Minister. Viewers, now that we have come to the end of this video, don't forget to give this video a like, also subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell so you'll be first to be notified when I upload a new video.